This truck has had a history of check engine lights and EVAP issues. I've got two codes, an EVAP vent control circuit low and an EVAP system large leak. Here's the original EVAP vent solenoid. There's two wires going to the solenoid. I'm going to check for power and ground with the engine running. With this scan tool, I can test the EVAP vent solenoid circuit by commanding it on and off. I've got a test light connected that I can't really get to right now and reach the scanner, but I can command it on like that, and you can see the light shining there on the differential. Command it back off, and it goes back off. So I know the circuit is good. Next, with the connector reconnected to the solenoid, I hold on to it and have someone command the solenoid on and off with the scan tool and see if it clicks. And it doesn't. So I know the solenoid is bad. Did you do it? Yes. Do it again. Got it? Yes. Do it again. GM had a problem with these solenoids on the 99 through 2007 models and they've redesigned it and made it to where you have to add a remote filter and they want you to put it above the transmission and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, I'm going to remove the old solenoid. There's a tab right here that has to be pushed and then you can slide it towards the left. Next, cut about two inches off of this pipe. Here's the old canister vent valve assembler. This is the actual solenoid. Here's the tube that I cut. And this is a filter that's supposed to keep the air clean to keep from getting debris stuck in the solenoid. It doesn't work very well. This one is stuck open. The new kit from the dealer comes with these two pieces. You've got the solenoid here and a remote filter. They want you to run a long piece of 5 8 heater hose inside the frame rail to this mounted above the transmission. And then you use about a 3 inch piece of heater hose here to reconnect to the tube that used to be connected here. Here's the part number for the solenoid kit. Now I've taped up the end of a big roll of 5 8 heater hose and I'm going to feed it through the frame towards the front of the truck. Now I can connect the hose to the solenoid. Once you figure out where you want it, cut the hose as needed. Clamp the hose onto the filter and set it up above the transmission and zip tie everything in place. Here's the new location for the vent solenoid inlet filter. With the new part installed you can now hear it click when you turn it on and off. Now you can use the scan tool to clear the codes. Now using the scan tool to check the readiness monitors, it needs to be driven until the EVAP system is complete. 